Hi, welcome back to our official YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. I'm also inviting you to like our Facebook page, Chat Genie. Today, I'll be sharing something new for this tutorial series. I'll be sharing how to properly set up your ad so that once the customer taps your ad, it will show the get started or the welcome payload on your messenger mini apps to do this uh, i assume that you have your own business manager account set up for your business make sure that it's already set up your page is already connected with your business manager account what we'll be needing is those things that i mentioned and from there you have to Click your account and um, go to Ads Manager. So here, as you can see later, you'll be seeing something uh, new for account. So you can see there's nothing uh, existing here. To start, uh, create the Add by tapping the create button. So I'll try to make it simple. So here let's assign a campaign name into the story. Uh, add for me apps. Then we can uh, just leave this as uh, traffic for your campaign objective. You can either choose traffic or message is fine. But uh, for this demo, we'll, uh, we'll choose traffic as our campaign objective. So you can do A-B test, but for our demo, let's just leave it as is. Uh, for this one, since this is just a demo, I'll just assign it. I wanted pesos for its lifetime budget. I just need to know if uh, you know my setup or configuration will work as expected. So here I'll just sign same name as the campaign name, introductory ad set. So all of this information that I'm typing it depends on how you want to set it up what's important is how I'm going to configure the payload for your mini app then save to draft there you go so next is you have to configure your ad set So here, we can choose app, WhatsApp, website, but our objective is really to set up our mini app, which is inside Messenger. So choose that. And then start, just choose uh, in the current type you want to see it later after you publish it. And then I want it to run until end of the month. Custom audience, well, since that our product is really designed for businesses, I'll just choose uh, the starting age is 25 and then select, I think, uh, yeah, 55 is enough. Detail targeting expansion, you know, we can just skip it. And then placement, leave it as recommended. Well, it depends. If you have ad advanced targeting, you can you can um, set up your own configuration. Link clicks, yeah, that's um, my preferred for now. So once you're done with this, uh, set up the introductory ad. As you can see, the 
uh, notification icon was actually removed already. I need the error notification icon. And then here, just leave it as is. And then add media. So I have I already have a prepared photo for this since that I already tried this prior to this video. And then uh, so I'll just choose that one default photo. And then here connect to messenger so what i want to do is i want to customize this uh, so that it will reflect the messaging that i want for my potential uh, customers or leads so what i want to tell them is um, create your online store in minutes and then on the headline I can I'll, I'll add an emoji so that we'll add something to it Let's choose, you know, a more appropriate emoji for this. So I want to choose this one. This, of course, you're, you know, creating a store and you're making money. And then for the headline, I want to tell them, click here to inquire. about online store inside messenger and then add an emoji indicating that indicating that you know you're, they're pointing to the button already chose this, this one so that it points to this button or seems like I have to shorten it let's see the preview let's wait for the preview it will come out Or maybe inquire about online store here. I think that's more appropriate. Because I really want you know this emoji to be there. Yeah, there you go. And then here, start conversation. So click edit. And then here, what I want is uh, text and image because based from what I, I read online, this is actually the most effective format. And then here, what I want to see is, let's say, I want to congratulate them, of course, for tapping that ad. Uh, yeah. So I actually skipped through the process of waiting for the text to render. There's a problem with this uh, tool inside Business Manager. It's actually a bit slow. So I actually skipped that part. And then next is instead of quick replies, we have to choose buttons because you know Mini App is actually. Um, 
well known because of its uh, buttons, not with a quick replies. And then here we have to, of course, add a button. Uh, instead of opening a website, it should send a post back. Here we will paste the payload that we can get from our CMS. So here I actually pasted it already on my notepad. On your case, you have to log in on your Chat Genie CMS and then you have to generate this and uh, paste this here on both uh, payload field. Here, what I want to run there is inquire here. So once you have that, you'll see a preview of the button. But what I want here is I want to have this one create your mini app. There you go. So finally, you have it there already. Seems like it's complete. Let's click save and finish button. There you go. So now it's rendering whatever we uh, provided. But what I want to do is really to see it. Okay. So we can publish it or we can say look at the preview. So if you want to uh, get a preview of your recently configured ad, uh, so by default it's actually selected in this format but you have to of course click or select the, the one that you just set up so once you click uh, preview in messenger you'll actually receive and there you go so here uh, I got a preview of my recently configured ad once I click this button I'll have this uh, button it provided this payload sent to my uh, chat genie account and then there you go so it's the same uh, welcome message that you'll see so once you tap this button the mini app uh, page will appear and then from here your customers can actually uh, browse you know the products that you have on your store from there, they can check out. They can uh, they can add products, check out, and uh, finally, there you go. You have a converted customer from your properly configured ad. That's it.